Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm Aram Darklink. This is Part One White Clouds Ethereal Moon The Cause of Sorrow. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the Blue Sea Star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. So yeah, this is going to be a very uh, fun little uh, chapter with a bunch of uh, events going on here. So, anyways, oh, it's Alois's birthday. Uh, sorry to trouble you. I don't need any more charm. I, okay, cool. We are planning a grand ball for this month. <laughs> I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Oh yes, I am Certainly. too. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. Oh. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. Oh great. A chapel. It is a building that was once a temporary sanctuary. At a time when the monastery was under renovation. Ah. Uh. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, hmm. we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. Cool. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. Okay. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Understood. Uh, which night? Reporting for duty, Lady Ray. <laughs> I thought you two could use the time to bond. Great. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. <laughs> Bear in mind that Gerald has a separate mission of his own. Oh boy. He will join you once he has finished it. Great. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return... I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> nice. Anyways, this should be... Be a lot of fun here. Yeah, so, let's look at the calendar. Um, because I think there are going to be some cool things. Oh, dear. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. So that's going to be in the next part after this is uh, the paralogue falling short of heaven. Uh, followed by probably this one. Um, and then that. Okay. Cool. There's going to be quite a few paralogues to do. It's cool. That's really cool. Oh, black magic tournament too. So always uh enough about that. Oh, support combos. Ah, there it is. Full B support with uh, Ingrid. Your Highness, I've come to apologize. Oh. I mismanaged my feelings and got carried away. Oh yeah, away. the whole. I've been thinking thing. about what might have made you say the things you did. I was so caught up in the moment. And in my own feelings, that I didn't think of what yours might be. Oh boy. No, I should be the one to apologize. I did not intend to say such things. I lashed out like a child. You were right to rebuke me. Uh huh. I am disgusted by my own inability to express myself. Will you allow me to explain? Oh boy. Of course. Yeah, let's go. At the tragedy of Dusker, uh -huh. I saw countless corpses. Of course, I saw his, too. Glenn's. 
Ingrid, I doubt you would have been able to see him. They were unable to There's bring a lot his of darkness looking under Dimitri's. He must have died an agonizing death, full of pain and regret. That is what I saw in his face. Oh, well. In that wasteland, there were no beautiful, proud deaths that could have been written about in heroic tales. Not one. I do not want you to die a death like that. Not even for the sake of loyalty or duty. A king must at times order his soldiers and knights to fight and die on his behalf. Their lives must be used for the greater good. Huh. And this is something any good king understands innately. Any king who doesn't allow people to die on his behalf is too soft to rule well. Jeez. Leave me little room for argument. <laughs> Have I disappointed you? No. I chose to serve you because of how you are. As your knight, I will stand by your side and uphold your soft-hearted ideals. Wow. What has changed, Ingrid? Yeah. You were so obstinate the other day. Yeah, this is I've realized that this I have been facing a very important truth. Oh. Because of you, I can finally move on. Thank you. Dang. That is something. That is really something there. Anyways, that's B plus right there. Um I don't need to explain that, you know, if there's like a highlight there on top. Sorry. What the what? And I'm afraid these conversations do not matter. <sighs> yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I have no idea of what I'm going to do about those combos. Maybe when like... I used the, all four Ashimals on the playthrough, which is what I plan on doing at some point. It's like using all four of them on a playthrough, and well, which will probably be my last one, considering it's going to be a very weird playthrough. Considering it's, you know, yeah. I don't really understand the need to, you know, understand like why I would want to do it because it's. This game overlaps a lot between the routes, so I'm I'm trying to f figure out what I'm going to be uh, doing here and how I'm going to do it. So maybe I could just have like one massive recap episode, but I, I don't know how I would put that together. Anyways, uh, enough of me sitting here. I'm going to go explore. What do you need to say, Sophus? Mars. No, Solon, uh -huh. was it not? And the flame emperor. Mm -hmm. It is most clear that something has transpired. Those weird model glitches. Somehow. Or is the fault my own? And you're just caught inside the wave. I don't know. Sothis, the goddess of this world. I bear her name. Yeah. Hmm, how confusing. Mm -hmm. I feel as though my head has turned to mush. Yeah. yeah, it has. Oh, dear. Okay, so accept the quest from Rhea. Oh. Anyways, That's... what is this? Where am I going here? Oh. Hey, Gilbert. It cannot be true that our siblings in arms could turn against us so. Oh. However, I will continue investigating members of the church. Okay. To cool. think that even someone as senior as Tomas would fall under suspicion. I know not how far to take my search. <sighs> even the students? Yes. A great many strange and terrible things have come to pass this year. I must not dismiss the possibility that someone among the students is behind it all. Shh. Wow. I have a request. Adventures in wood carving. Find a book on wood carving techniques and give it to Gilbert. A student who came to Fulden from the West might have what you're looking for. Interesting. Ball is coming up soon. I am so excited. I can't wait to fill up on food while everyone's dancing. Oh, I even heard there'll be some prime cuts of meat. Mm. Hmm. Cool. Wait, what the? 
What? How come these two haven't been... Oh, hey. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh. Ah, other than the Legend of the Goddess Tower, of course. Legend of the Goddess the Tower? talking about it? On the last night of the Ethereal Moon, on the same night as the Ball, if a man and a woman go to the Goddess Tower and make a wish, it's sure to come true. I have a wish, but I can't find anybody to make it with me. Oh. Is there someone I feel that way about? Oh, God. <clears throat> okay, so... I, I just need to put this disclaimer on right here. I, I think this is... This part of the game is a little wrong... Uh, to think about... I mean, at this point. Because I'm a professor. This is one of my... These are my students... I have no idea. I'm pretty sure Annette is the youngest one of all, and she appears on this list. Mercedes is a little less, um, you know, troubling because, you know, she's, I'm pretty sure she's in her 20s. And Ingrid, I don't know if she's 18 or not, but the gist here is that I, I can think about who I would like to, you know, come with me into this guy star that I enjoy very much. And, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, it's just, I, I just, I, okay, I am, just because I, I'm sort of training myself on the principles of, like, most psychologists and therapists do, it means that, for one, what I, what relationship I choose to engage in, I remain consistent as it's boundaries that will need to be put here. In this case right here, Annette is still my student, Mercedes is still my student, and Ingrid is still my student. To have a dual relationship where I like I have some feelings towards one of these people, and I act on it, and in the reality of this situation, um, you know, if... I were to do something like that in real life, there would be some really major consequences for this. Some real major consequences, because I am... I am basically, you know, limiting, you know, the effectiveness of what I was there to do as a therapist, which is, you know, to provide therapy for someone who desperately needs it. I mean, this could be the same for, like, uh... You know, a teacher trying to teach or something like that. I mean, it's just... Oh my goodness. <laughs> and so... When reality kicks in, I, I don't really know how I feel about it. Unfortunately, this game is put in fantasy, so I want a net. <laughs> the ball really brings back memories. <laughs> Had some wild times back when I was first enrolled here. Oh. The ladies used to line up around the block for a chance to dance with the debonair king of grappling. Oh. Well, um. I wonder why. I mean... I can feel like I'm just staring right into your eyes here, man. Oh, Byleth. Okay. Okay. That, that's that's cool. You just ruined the moment. <laughs> you just have to look at your hand. <laughs> I'm so bored that I'm trying to find ways to... Hey, Professor. How's it going? I'd love to you say the exact same thing every time. Steal or collect four dropped secrets. What do you do? Right. Oh, that's right. Okay. Ah, <sighs> boy. Oh, and there's another quest hey. here. It's on the side. What? Wow. I hope you're up for a challenge. Look for servant supplies that the young lady misplaced. She mentioned going to pray, so she might... Near the cathedral. 
And we get three uh, weird battalions. A big spoon. Maybe. Um, anyways, I am going to stop dilly-dallying. And I'm going to accept that quest from Rhea before I forget to do so. Oh, hey, Claude. Princess doll. <sighs> Here we go. I'm gonna go into Rhea's chamber and do this. Before the ball, it is customary that we host a competition of dance known as the White Heron Cup. Ah. The students are quite fond of this tradition. Okay. Each house must select a representative to compete. Oh. Their dance shall be judged by its beauty, grace, and technique. Okay. The student who is deemed the winner will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. Mm -hmm. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. Mm -hmm. I hope that you and your students will choose to participate. Yeah, that should be interesting. But anyways, May I ask the quest favor? is uh, the White Heron Cup Dance Contest takes place at the beginning of week three. Select a student to represent your cows by the end of week two. You sl your selected student may learn a unique way to inspire their allies in combat. In other words, the student who wins uh, gets to train, gets to become your dancer unit. So, anyways, now we can talk to everyone who is in our house, and I mean everyone, including the people we've recruited, and so, as of now, I will need to explain here. So, the thing about dancers, uh, what determines your ability to win the competition is um, sort of the ability to, like, uh, it, it depends. So, for someone to win the competition and win it, win it well, and I mean, you know, actually win it and become a dancer, in order for that to happen, uh, what needs to occur is uh, one of the things. Uh, they have to have a high charm stat. So... If I had any recommendations on who, just based on that, uh, you go for the person for the high with the highest charm in your army. Um, that isn't you, because you can't become a dancer. Um, and so, fortunately, uh, just looking at the charm here, uh, that falls to Sylvain. Unfortunately, I don't want Sylvain doing that. Mostly just because I... I don't know. Like, I, I don't want his combat potential limited, you know, to being a dancer. I, I just I just don't see him as that. However... And so there's another thing to keep in mind. For one, if there's a unit that you just don't really want necessarily in combat. And... The reason why I would go with that route a little bit more is, for one, there may be a character that you're using that, you know, may have not, you know, worked out as well. They might find a bit more of a saving grace as a dancer. And one person comes to mind. One person comes to mind fairly well. Yeah. As far as I know, Ingrid is going to be a bit of a hard case, you know, trying to deal with it. And I've also made sure, like, for one, to train her reason stat and to make her an ultimate support unit. Um, I'm also training her in faith right now, so she can do well with that. It's just... Ingrid, I, I just don't like using her as an offensive combatant. Most of the time, like, it requires a lot of specialization and a different skill set to make her a mixed attack attacker so she can, you know, effectively, you know, do something 
that so many other characters can do much better. And so... <sighs> to make this hard choice, it's just... That's the thing. I would rather that, you know, Ingrid... You know, serve a better use and stay out of combat as much as possible. Because I just can't take it. I just can't take her, you know, growing the way she does anymore. And, you know, she has high speed. She has... Has decent res. And, you know, can serve... Serve as, like, a combatant when necessary. Just to be quite honest, that's what dancers are supposed to do. Like, they're supposed to be a supportive role. And a supportive role... first and foremost so yeah I mean I don't know who else to pick except Ingrid because honestly I just I just her attack is going to fall off considerably as the game progresses and I need to find a valid use for her when she comes about and so yeah that that's what it is Otherwise, uh, if I had a recommendation on who could make a really good dancer character just based on my previous experience, um, because Flame is a really good support character and you may not have, like, the best luck of recruiting characters into your army, she has a really high charm growth and could heavily benefit from being a dancer just on that sheer fact alone. So, she was actually my first dancer character, and, and so... That's also another option. So anyways, uh, just to uh, whittle down the time that I spent here in this part, I am just going to pause here and I'm going to show everyone's responses to, you know, concerning the dancer, you know, just for a little bit of posterity here. So first, Dimitri. I'm going to be pulling, pulling a cruel joke on you, man. It seems the dastards who set Ramaya village aflame have yet to be apprehended. Apparently. Monsters. Trampling mercilessly over innocent lives. They deserve a gruesome end. Oh dear. I... I'm sorry. Please, ignore my troubled ramblings. Was something the matter? Something to do with the White Heron Cup? Professor, I beg of you. Please do not choose me as our house representative. I am utterly serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, thank the goddess. <laughs> Please be sure to select someone with the confidence to win for us. Yeah, um, of course. Of course. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. To do. Even though there is to be a ball, we still have a mission. Yes, that's true. It would be nice if this month passed by in peace. Of course. Incidentally, I have heard there will be a dance competition prior to the ball. Uh-huh. Have you chosen a representative yet? Uh, I, I'm not making to do the dancer. Holy crap, that'd be weird. Someone must want to participate. You would do well to find that person. And I will at some point. Yeah. Anyways, on to the next guy. <sighs> Too much merriment. Oh? The librarian betrayed us. Uh -huh. The death knight is back. Uh-huh. Is this the time to be throwing a ball? <sighs> Whatever. What's on your mind? You look like you're about to say something. Are you considering me as our representative for the White Heron Cup? <laughs> yeah, no. No, dude. You, you you can't dance for crap. I see. That's a relief. <laughs> a lot of people really don't want to be dancers in this house, as you will see. I, hope I apologize this one will be for more that. Cheerful. <laughs> this ball, though, I don't know. It, it's all new to me. Yeah. But speaking of the ball... Isn't there something happening just before it? Yeah. The white heron something? Yes. It sounds like every class needs a representative. Have you picked ours yet? Uh, not at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Whew. you should pick one of the nobles. They all have experience with this sort of thing. <laughs> okay, fair enough, man. Here we go. Great work in Remire Village, Professor. Who would have ever guessed it was Tomas? Mm. Ah, but no. Now isn't the time to get I mean, lost in it's, gloomy it's thoughts. It's not like I played this game many times already. Here. 
and the White Heron Cup Dance Contest. Mm -hmm. So, Professor, who will be representing our class? Eh, you seem carefree about that. I get it. No worries, really. I'd rather see a beautiful person dancing instead of some goof like me. You know, that's the thing. Sylvain would probably be, like, you know, the most nonchalant to participate, which is unfortunate. Ay, mercy. Oh, now where did that Ingrid run off to? Well... The ball is soon, and she hadn't even put on any makeup. I was trying to help her out. While we're on the subject of the ball, what's this I hear about a dance competition? Well... Physical activity isn't my forte, but dancing can be fun. If there's okay, no never mind. Mercedes select, would actually be happy, happy to do to it, too. Okay, us. never mind. Um, unfortunately, uh, you are just fine as a healer and as a magical offense. I, I don't need you to be our dancer. Are you sure? Please let me know if you change your mind. Even though I think your charm is adequate for the, the job, I mean... Yeah, your charm's 18, so I mean, you'd be able to do it just fine, but... I don't know. I don't know. There, there's someone in particular that I want. Not you. And for good so, reason. Tomas the librarian was a bad guy? But he always seemed so nice. Oh, come on, self. You're better than this. You promised you'd be on top of things this month. <laughs> After all, we have the ball to look forward to. And the White Heron Cup before that. Uh-huh. Oh, speaking of, have you chosen our house representative yet? If not, I'd like to volunteer. <sighs> okay, so and that's jovial, but no. Uh, that's too bad. Oh, but if you reconsider, you know where to find me. Sorry, what is a net's charm stat? Oh, she could serve pretty well too. Darn. But uh, I I I want I want to prioritize use over, you know, just who I like. So, in that case, Ingrid, you're gonna hate me, but I need you to do something. Mercedes locked me in her room for hours earlier. She was slathering pounds of makeup onto my face, saying something or other about the ball. It really wore me out. Yeah. Speaking of, I heard that there's going to be a dance competition. Mm hmm Have you sorted out who will represent our class, Professor? It's not me, is it? Please don't say it's me. Oh dear. This is gonna be terrible news for both of us. Uh, where is my phone? Unfortunately, you know, it is you, yes. Oh dear. Well, I'll see what I can do then, on my honor. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't feel so good about it either, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly just... Hey, hey. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, Manuela. We're now gonna go speak to Manuela here. Um, because it's a... Here you've chosen your representative for the White Heron. Uh-huh. In that case, a word of advice. Listen up, everyone. On an average year, the winning contestant has about this much charm. It seems the winning contestant's charm is usually around 13. Charm is important, wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. Who wants a partner with no charm? Mm hmm Not me. Do your best. Make sure to put in the practice. And good luck. Yeah, so the thing about Ingrid is she has at least 14 charm at the moment. And, uh... And we get to do something that will give her a little bit of a boost to her charm, too. Which is honestly nice. Uh... Yeah. Professor, I admit. I have two left feet when it comes to dancing. Do you have time to give me any pointers? Yeah, certainly. Let's do this. Okay, so... Alright. Nice and easy. There we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, 
do it again. And, uh, all right. Nice, delicate poise. A little shaky on, on the core movement there, but, you know. Okay, one more time. Let me see that one more time. There, there we go. There we go. How did I do? Was I awkward? I felt awkward. You were fine, okay? And uh, I think you'd be quite surprised about yourself. You have a ni 19 charm now and uh, a decent chance of winning. So. And you will have access to magic. You'll have access to, uh, you know, dancing. Like, you are going to be something. Only unnecessary combatants. You have speed and res. You have a lot of speed. Your speed will be augmented in this. So, like, you'll... You'll do fine as a dancer. In fact, pretty good as a dancer, probably. This is the most what could I possibly do at a formal ball? I've no status, and I'm not much of a dancer. Oh, dear God. I think it would be best if I stayed put in abyss. Far from view of anyone. Jeez! Jeez, poised constants and dark constants are such a wow. Okay. What? And of course, uh, find a book about wood carving. I still need to do that. Uh, you can find that in a certain uh, certain warrior's room, like somewhere around here. Hey, a Petra. Regit techniques and yeah, I, I I don't know how exactly to feel about it because we're basically just stealing a book from a student's room and it's just I'm I'm not uh... pardon me okay just get me to Gilbert or Gustav or whatever your name is I just. <sighs> I just, I, I just want to get this. Oh, right there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you for the task. Find the servant's missing property. Well, that's an easy one too. Just need to go into the cathedral here. Oh, hey, Hubert. Professor. Go face oh, through the no. gate again and bingo. Oh, three notes. Oh boy. I wonder if I'll ever find a partner who understands I don't mean any harm when I flirt with others. Does someone really like th like that really exist? You're bound to meet someone open minded someday. Okay, now yeah, just tell them what they want to hear, basically. I'm hesitant to invite a girl to my room in the middle of the night with you-know-who living right next door. I'm terrified of scolding I get the next day. Um, maybe I'll rethink the room assignments. <laughs> Jesus Christ, two in a row! If, if we get another one from Sylvain, I'm going to be laughing my butt off. Okay. I often overhear people commenting about how strange I am. I don't really get it. Shouldn't it be expected that everyone has their own unique perspective on life? Just follow your own path and don't worry about them. <laughs> oh my god, but I got just getting two notes from Sylvain like back to back. I swear that was just, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. That was so funny. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, no. He's really concerned about having an open-minded partner in the future. But also, like... Just hesitant to invite a girl into his room because of... Of the idea of... 
I wonder what they were going to do in his room. I mean, hmm, I can't really say because I tried to censor myself here, but I mean, <laughs> like, it's, I bet you can, I bet the adults in the audience will understand what is probably going on there. Impressive. Nice work. Cool. Anyways. Registered at the Battalion Guild. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I think all that's left to do of, like, required... Well, just monthly well, only uh, things here is... Uh, the... Is the tournament. The House versus House Black Magic Tournament. And so, we have Sylvain, we have Annette, okay, Annette, just so she can get her motivation maxed out. Ah. No challenge, no challenge to her whatsoever. That worked out. Cool. <laughs> I just love the Warlocks just like, Having the ability just to conjure themselves into the air like that. It's insane. It's cool. It's super cool. Alright. Win versus win. Done is done. Precisely. Okay. Uh, five damage, blizzard, twenty Yeah, it'll still be fine. What's done is done. Oh yeah! That's for sure. Um, oh dear. I had no choice. She's still just dominating the competition here. An eleven, and this is the finals. So, oh yeah, she'll do it. She'll get low on HP, but. She's powerful Thank enough. Goodness. <laughs> that was so... That was quick. But anyways, we earned a silver shield for our troubles. And, um... I believe... Uh, Annette's motivation... Oh, doesn't go up. Never mind. Okay. What's this about? The ball. Knights don't participate. I realize. It's an event for students, but... It does pique the interest of some knights in particular. Oh? Alois can't dance, but I hear he likes to watch. <sighs> he volunteered to judge the White Heron Cup. Not that I care. Interesting. Wait, aren't you one of the judges? Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Songstress poster. That might belong to Manuela. You know, I really should, like, just take care of these lost items. Just to, like, have a little bit of a field day with them. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, I there. think I've done all that I can for this, uh, whole monastery session. I think all that I just really need to do is just off on my own. I could go visit Abyss real quick, though I think everyone, well, two people are out of here at the moment. Anyways, here we go. Jeez, okay, I, I completely just went past what I was gonna do. Today's the choir festival. Cool, 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 cool. cool. In that case, uh, you know, it's the shame that you know, the Blue Lions only has one person that really enjoys singing. Oh. I think I might 
Anyone who needs a little up in faith, you know what? Why not? I'm training you in faith anyway, so let's do it. That will help. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. It should, yeah. Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. Really good attitude, Ingrid. And that's just a free, like, you know, little oh, boost no. to. Oh no! Excuse me. What happened in Ramire was indescribable. Oh, the that. whole village burned to the ground. Mm-hmm. So many were left without even a home to return to. Yep. Thankfully, Her Grace the Archbishop has invited those who lost everything to stay at Garrig Mach. I pray that they will be able to return to their once peaceful lives as soon as possible. Until yeah. that day, I hope we so the too. church must join together and do all that we can to help them rebuild. Yep. Okay, so I think that's all... I think this really is all that I can do. It's besides, like, just go down to Abyss, which I'll... Professor. I'll just do the quick ro warp here just to... Um, Reduce the amount of time that I have. I have already, like, you know, sanctioned to this part. So, yeah, we can do that. Uh. Anyways, what do you have to say? Hey, you, listen up. I've got something to report. Oh, do you? Mr. Backup doesn't come by anymore, which is fine. Not incredibly rude or anything. Nope. Just fine. Oh, wow. You really are hung up about that, man. Anyways. Yeah, no one is an abyss. Jeez. That's crazy. Well, in that case, I could probably just, uh... Might as well visit the mysterious what teachers. What do you require? Now, let me see. Marvelous. Jeez. This one should be proud of their growth. That, that's fare thee well. That's something. Um. Uh, anyways, oh dear. When I snuck into the monastery a while back, I saw a girl there the same age as me. Oh. She was crying. I couldn't believe it. Oh. How could you ever cry in a place like that? There's always food on the table. Jeez. Dang, never thought I would get, like, a philosophy lesson from a, from a little girl. Jeez. Anyways, scrap heap. I don't know. Okay, you're gonna stop doing that? Game... What are you doing? Jeez. This is a mess. Well, anyways, I think I've done all I can here. Thank you all for watching. Um, tune in next time for some, uh, some paralogs. Well, two paralogs. Uh, and, uh, a uh, demonstration of the White Heron Cup. And, you know, just having a little bit of fun with that. Because, why not? Uh, have a good day, everyone.